go ahead and check out uh, weirdthings.com. Awesome. All right, we'll see you guys. See you next Tuesday where we'll be back in studio and everything will be back to normal. Uh, sorry for all the shenanigans with being on the road for an entire month straight, but I love you guys very much. We'll see you next Tuesday. I'm afraid you'll have to sound more bored as if you're watching some event that you're supposed to be making exciting but can seem to be- get up the courage to... Who just re- did you hey, I gotta, that? I gotta All- jump out of here, but this was a blast. Thanks, you guys, for having me on again. Dude, thanks, Tom. You're always the best. We love you. I love you more than than Jer- Justin. Oh, no, that's gosh. a lie. That's that's a fib. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. See, did you, see where you did, I, did you soundboard me, Justin? Is that what happened? I was soundboarding. No, 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 I wasn't playing you back. Twit was playing you back. I was soundboarding the you being played on Twit. Oh, are we off? What? But we're on the air. No, no, no. I think they were playing back. You you were saying you need to sound more bored like you're doing, unless you were saying that again. Were you? No, I wasn't saying that again. That was from yeah. before. Th- that was us. Yes. Oh, okay. That was you guys pulling yeah, shenanigans. Sorry. Got it. Got it. Yes. Uh, let's, let's, talk, let's talk a bit with the, uh, with the chat room about possible names for the show. I like Internet the Podcast. Not yeah, going to lie. Uh, D- Delicious is suggesting BJ at night. Which I don't know will fly, nor uh, right nor really get us around the problem of not calling it NSFW because we're afraid people will think it's pornography and calling it BJ at night. Right. Well, uh, a lot of people seem to like the Internet Television Show. Um, <laughs> Again, see, here's what we need to remind people: uh, we can we can have the show be as quirky as we want inside the confines. But you know, if you guys notice, a lot of Twitch shows, and by a lot I mean all, get that. Prime iTunes podcast real estate. They'll get that right. big fat picture because iTunes knows that it's Twit. Twit puts out good stuff and they can feel safe in the quality of the podcast by just giving them that big space. We will never get that because it looks like we are a show where a spiky haired man presides over his favorite pornography clips of the month um, uh, it, by the artwork. So that's <laughs> thank not you. something thank they you want for that. Appreciate to- it. I'm just saying, if you were a random person, you would say this is where a, a man who's fashioned his hair to look like the Statue of Liberty shows off all of the uh, MMF, FFM, BBW clips that he can possibly find on the Internet. Uh, let me tell you, I actually am kind of down with Internet's... Uh... Oh my God! Colleen just sent me a picture that broke my brain, and I'm sure she'll post it in the chat room right now. <laughs> and I won't be able to show it, of course. But everyone people are else suggesting a- dragon face, face of the dragon. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we we got mostly safe for work. Hey, let's do the uh, let's do. I, I I like awesome sauce the podcast. Well, I can dig on awesome sauce. It's good. Awesome sauce. The the okay. Colleen will post it in the chat room repeatedly. Uh, what about okay? So let's do. We we got to do the billboard for this one. So let me go ahead and we'll record that right now. Oh, are we good? Awesome sauce is a Kevin Pereira thing. People are saying. What like it's like it's a word he likes to use, or he didn't invent that. No. Um. Hello and welcome to the awesome sauce. Somebody's saying. Oh, is that how he introduces uh, Attack of the Show? I don't know. Who watches that? <laughs> uh, a few more people than watch us. All right, you ready? Um, here we go. Here's the billboard. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com, offer code NSFW. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. There was a loud buzzing noise. This episode of NSFW This episode of NSFW brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com and use offer code NSFW or we'll punch you. All right, and uh, we gotta we gotta do the uh, what happened in this episode. Here, we'll we'll do both of us. 
We'll 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 see what happened in this episode. <clears throat> This week in NSFW, we are live and remote from the road as we discover who is the single most annoying person on all of Twitter. What's the best part that happens? You and Tom Merritt say words we'll have to bleep out. (laughs) Okay, all right, all right. Uh, All right, we'll do the... This episode, we are live and remote from the road as we try to determine through a World Cup-style tournament who is the most annoying person on the Internet. And what happens, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Egos clash, juice bag behavior is unleashed, and we finally crown a champion of the most annoying person on the Twitters. Sir? Can you not say douche in the coming up? Uh, you can say, you know, jerk face. <laughs> oh, is douche actually right out? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Persona Fried suggesting the internet sucks with Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, look at this. The most annoying person in the World Cup. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Tomorrow, uh, what is today? Today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2010. Yeah. This is NSFW for Tuesday, June 22nd for 2010. The most annoying... Wait, what are you showing me over there? Oh, you're, you're sending me... Show me. I'm sorry. No, you're dragging stuff into my teleprompter over here. Okay. <clears throat> I thought it was important. Okay. This is NSFW for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2010. The most annoying person in the World Cup. Can you, can you do that again with the episode number? 29. What is what episode number? 29. 29? Yeah. All right. Justin, you realize you're on screen, so you can't look quite so bored. No, no, no. I'm looking mean mugging. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. This is NSFW episode 29 for June 22nd, 2010. The most annoying person in the World Cup. Uh, Lucky Jinxer, I don't know if the hardcore porn cast will uh, really solve our problem. (laughs) That might might just uh, make things worse for us. Think Geek actually sells Awesome Sauce brand hot sauce. Oh, really? Yeah. What about Serious Business? Riffing on the meme, Internet Serious Business? What's that? What's it mean? Oh, you haven't seen that? You haven't seen that meme? Let's see if we can find some. Chat room, post us some links to Internet Serious Business. That's like that's like uh, the uh, oh pyro on a swing loves the the title to serious business. It's one of those things where it's like 4chan just runs on it because they're like yeah dude internet this is serious business you shouldn't screw around and of course that's what they use to make sure that they like you know, make sure that everybody knows that it's screwing around time. Yeah exactly they're like you know oh yeah no it's serious business you shouldn't throw pink phalluses at somebody in the middle of an interview on Second Life. <laughs> Here, do you have any of those links? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, apparently it's like to show that you've been trolled, which is like kind of right in our wheelhouse. Yeah, right? But the, I, mean, I don't know if we'll annoy the 4chan, 4chan. crowd. Yeah. I mean, they got to be used to getting ripped off. Like, all their memes have been made into successful businesses by people other than them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like SeriousCat.com. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Serious Cat. Or how about serious, the word that you and uh, Tom Merritt repeated twice that's going to have poor Tony Wang bleeping something out? Uh, which time? I was just, I was just, I was reading tweets from the internet. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a twist of fate. That, normally that's, that's your purview. That's your domain. I held back. Well, <laughs> uh, Kuhan suggests Hung Jury starring Brian Brushwood. <laughs> That might be a way to go. I saw a putty tat from my kitchen window. <laughs> the <laughs> Melissa show. 
Or I don't know whether this is a show title name. Uh, yeah, normally Jerry's the asshole. <laughs> Uh, wow, look at this. We're in a new background. See, this is the Internet Serious Ooh. Business. It's business. It's business time. <laughs> Car Hacks uh, just instant messaged me saying it's 523 a.m. Car Hacks, just tell me, was it worth it? Was it worth staying up for? That's all I want to know. Whoa, look at all these backgrounds. Dude, this is our background. Why don't we use this for our split screen? Why don't this we ever awesome. use this? Wang and Jammer. Yeah, Wang. Wang Jammer. We didn't know this existed. Oh, Car oh, Hacks. Really? Car yeah. Hacks says, uh, meh. You just never use it. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, you know. <laughs> he said know. it needed more P word. <laughs> the, the, and, yeah, uh, it's hard. It's hard to be. The Wang and Jammer show. I like I like that they're Wang Jammer. Join together. They're Wang Jammer. <laughs> Wang Jammer with Brian. Wang and Jammer! Jamming that Wang! Wang Jammer! I'm gonna get us right out of trouble, right? What? Well, what is this? Like, I'm caught in a bizarre world surrounded by Justin Robert Youngs on this insane set. In 1984, it'll really be like 1984. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone loves dolphins. The totally this cool show. Never. Ooh, oh totally my god! Cool. What? Go Wait, back. go back, go back. What was that? The other one, the other one. The stage, yeah. Oh, Car Hack says now it's getting good. <clears throat> Welcome to the Cyber News. I'm your host Brian Brushwood, joined by clones 278 and 322 of Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, ladies? We are so happy to be here, Brushwood. <laughs> Let us begin with today's news. Twitter, it's a fire over a new champion for the worst person in the World Cup. To give a statement, it's Justin, who's, this was his idea, and I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Brian, again, trying to skirt responsibility. <laughs> Something that should not be surprising to anybody who's dealt with him. We are flanking, and now the ghost of somebody who died once is haunting Brian, which is why you must back up with Carbonite.com so as to avoid paranormal deletions of your important files. He's now moving what? closer, Brian. If I were you, I would leave immediately. No! Let me out! Let me out! At this point, if we're going to do any kind of after show, Wang Jammer... <laughs> the the production team to end all production teams must justify it to themselves by playing with the backgrounds. We are now in some sort of futuristic car testing facility, as if we are going to be run against the wall. Like, oh, here's a paintbrush. <laughs> I'm afraid we've been painted repeatedly. It's a red flag all across our faces. We're not quite sure where the money came from. <laughs> Make it rain, bitch, says Brian Brushwood. <laughs> <clears throat> I appear to have won a staggering number of dollars, and I'm feeling very dirty, so please clean me off and turn me into Justin. Scrub-a-dub-dub is the only thing you can say, as I've now been cleaned and revealed to be Justin Robert Young. <laughs> and from uh, within... A temporal ship is being opened in the space-time continuum, revealing what I've always known, Brian's face. <laughs> Indeed, it is strange to be discovered living deep within the recesses of the fetid core of the rotting corpse of what used to be Justin Robert Young. However, I'm sure that in no time... Uh, the laser jump ropes have spoken, <laughs> revealing me once again. Double Dutch with lasers. Did we know it was possible before we did it? No. Are we having a good time? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Indeed, sparkles rain from the sky, and Justin is revealed to be but a pale shadow covering Brian Brushwood. Brian Brushwood causing lasers... Fireworks with herald the arrival of Justin Robert Young yet again, as his face explodes with joy. <laughs> All over Brian's face. <laughs> Brian's face, a veritable pinnacle of explosions of all varieties and colors, 
causing his shiny forehead. Just make, and now like, arriving like, uh, in double barrel form to remind Brian that Jixposotions is not a word. <laughs> uh, Brian looking the wrong way as he wishes to crush the head of Justin Robert Young. Not sure if it's possible to permeate these alien alloys. Wondering when the next transition will make something happen. <laughs> Is that we we played the Boo Boo Zealous? Is that what that was? No, I was gonna try and, here. Uh, by the way, the consensus seems to be that the after show is the actual show. So apparently this is what live viewers want, is two jackasses. Yeah, you know, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, you always got to watch the show uh, again to kind of get a feeling of how it went. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you folks. Uh, not feeling too happy about how tonight went necessarily. Uh, oh, yeah. You, you you were uh, uh, you riddled with self doubt. You thought it, it fell flat. I don't think it fell flat because it went fast. It's not like I felt like we were we were like we were we were uh, certainly not playing to our strengths. That was a that was a heck of a thing. Like uh, like accents we're hilariously bad at, and when we do it twice per episode, you're like, oh, those accents are so bad, and it's funny when you do a whole episode, you're like. They're really doing a whole episode about how lousy their accents are. You know, there were a lot of things, you know, and we talked a little bit before we did the show that, um, which way are you? This way? Oh. Uh, we talked a lot about the show about how we got to keep it simple. And um, I don't know if we totally did that. I think we simplified it more than oh, we dude, no, added initially. I think it, it was initially. totally simple. The way we fell into and out of announcers, and we had this endlessly rotating thing where sometimes we were the adjudicators, other times we were the participants, and you could always clearly tell who the tweeters were, even though we acted like it was important to keep their identities a secret. I mean, I think all of that played uh, super simple. I think it was obvious to everyone, right? You want to know what? I actually got a thing that people did get it, <laughs> but at the same time, that doesn't mean that it was good. Uh, I, don't, I, like I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody was confused. I think they might have been bored. I liked. Uh, well, uh, you know what? That could be. Um, but I. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to talk to these people. But, but here's here's the thing. One of the entries I liked was the end of the internet. Like you have reached the end of the internet. Snowshoe says I was confused about that. Brian well, says he's bored. Um, Hair oh. gel and stubble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the uh, show title. Natural Selection Failed. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know, I don't know. We'll we'll figure out a good name. Oh my god, that's awesome. What is? Can you not oh, see that? that? Uh, yeah. No, it's awesome. Are you kidding? Yeah, I Brian, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you weren't watching the screen. That you weren't watching Skype. Oh, I tried to peek at it when I could, but I was looking at the camera. Why? Did did something super significant happen? No, no, no. When I when I was like, "Oh, look at the look at the the screen." Because it said offer code NSFW during the read. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I saw it, but, but meanwhile, like, like that's on this computer over here. Here, I'm behind yeah. you doing this crap. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, and I thought, I thought I you were looking at, at the window because yeah. I got to look at it because otherwise I don't see where the camera is and I'll like pick my nose and stuff. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's me alone. Uh, apparently, I have a TV show next to my own pool um, where I'm doing the news. <laughs> This, can you buy packages with more of these crazy backgrounds? I think so, but they're pretty cheesy. Cheesier the better, bro. <laughs> One person keeps saying, a lot of people say GTFO. TV, totally viral. This week and Justin and the other guy. <laughs> and then, what's funny is like, Rabbit Badger says, this week and Justin and the other guy. And then another person says, this week with Brian and the other guy. <laughs> Here we go. So what, what if it's just the other guys, besides if that's a name of a movie that's coming out? 
It's probably not going to be very good. Somebody suggests wasted bandwidth. I can't, hold on, go go back. Do do that. Do that again. I I feel like I'm a I'm a like a Nintendo DS. Like leave it locked off like halfway. Right there we go. It's like uh, I feel like I should have speech bubbles where I'm just like, we've got to stop him now. No 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 wait no go back go back to the thing that you guys had him at with the two. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh yeah. So Brian, go from like one side to the other. Like you're flying through the air. Like you should have oh, like yeah, speed like, lines. Like ah! yeah. <laughs> like <whoosh, ahh. laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh no! The totally lame show. Yeah, dude. No, that's good. I'm I'm owning that. Totally lame. And we could we could actually do a terrible rip off of the Totally Rad Show song where it's like totally lame, totally lame, totally lame. It's, it's, it's gonna begin with us shaking hands at the beginning instead of doing the fist bump. <laughs> we shake hands. You know, only, only be for like inside this this portal where I'm just like, hello, sir. My dragon hand won't shake your tiny hand, mortal. Hold on, um, wait, wait. This is uh, this is a little move I like to call the reverse goatsy. Ah, ah. <laughs> so um, we should call it just drop out of college. Just, <laughs> just drop just, out uh, now. Uh. Okay. Look. Are we uh, are we done here? I think the Hobbit I think and the we've Hare. Done, we've we've, we've done could, enough damage. I kind of like the Hobbit and the Hare. The Hobbit and the Hare. <laughs> um, Internet jackassery. This, literally safe for work. IP Weekly. I kind of like IP Weekly for Internet the podcast. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a solid snake show. Um, <laughs> Um, this week in TriCaster Fun. No, that'll be our spinoff, where it's just, uh, Jammer Wang. Oh, oh, and... oh wait, whoa, 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 Lean your head right. Make this work. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got to say, Justin? Hi, everybody. I'm Bobby Bobby. My head explodes. Welcome to Stab School. <laughs> Spiky and the Sea Jew. This week in Nonsense. It's Globy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it's Globy for a new permanent show name. This week in balls. Uh, uh, I see you pee. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? And just apparently we're just bringing out literally anything that we've ever laughed at since <laughs> any dirty <laughs> joke since. Third grade. We're just gonna run by uh, Justin. I love the fact that we're like we're now banished to what was the what was the dimension in in Spider in Superman? The, is it, the was it a shadow dimension or uh no. And oh, they're all like gnashed up against it, they're all like wow. Uh Zapper's dirty hour. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, you get out of here? Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it right. The no, Phantom Zone. Like, Phantom Zone. Phantom Zone, thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, Bri Bri and the Germs. Bri Bri and the Germs. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like um, giggling. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's uh, 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 Contussers Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> um. I like Bri Bri and the Gerbs. Men behaving sadly. <laughs> TWOB, total waste of bandwidth. I'll buy that. Fapper's Fun House. This Not weekend, bad. hurried uh, pre production and then abject apology <laughs> shortly thereafter. <laughs> yeah, this, this weekend, crossing the line and backing up as fast as they're able. <laughs> kind of like this, this setup. We like it too, Brian. We like it very much. <laughs> 275, you hush your mouth. 384, I thought I told you to wait in my bedroom. This week in litigation. Yeah, who knows? NSFW show at gmail.com. And please yeah, remember dude, to send, send that in, bro. Your, 
Send all of your stuffed dolphins to 7508 Southwest 26th Court, Davie, Florida, um, area code 33314. It's my mother's address. And just make sure that you write a um, racial slur on the box so she knows it's for me. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, take care, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Sorry. <laughs> Are you serious, Justin? Sorry. That's gonna help. That's gonna be my new my new uh, ending. <laughs> my new farewell sign off. You're gonna be like, see you next Tuesday, and I'm gonna go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end it like I've ended eighty percent of all my sexual encounters with an apology. <laughs> all right. Um uh this week in OMG sorry. Um <laughs> serious oh, business is really not a bad a, a bad one. I like that one. Which one? Serious sorry? business. I, I do like serious business. Carhax wants to know if you want if he wants if you want him to send you some cheese, some snaps cheese, which I guess is a thing they do in Europe. What the hell is that? I don't know. I was hoping you would know. I no, I don't know. Although you can send to seventy five zero eight Southwest twenty six Court, Davie, Florida, area code three 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 one four. Just make sure that you write something that's really derogatory toward women on it. On the box itself, so my mom knows it's for me. <laughs> done. Well, done this done. weekend, whating my mother? Sweet Lord, Sakai. <laughs> oh, my God. That is harsh. I can't believe I'm seeing that. Oh, my God. That is rough. I can't believe this kind of thing would happen in the chat room. I know. It, it just makes me want to... <laughs> No, we what probably shouldn't Hitler? call it Hitler's Dice. Oh, dude, I was have... about to bring that one up. I kind of like Hitler's Dice. <clears throat> we probably shouldn't have Hitler in the show title. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. There's a certain amount of built-in audience when we do that. Uh, fire Guy and Lackey. That's good. Oh, yeah, I'm the Lackey. Exactly. The Q-Hot Show. Uh, we can call it Focus Check, magnified 33%. That's pretty popular. Maybe Color Bars <laughs> Test. Uh, oh, uh, in the chat room real quick, people are asking where we want um, the... Uh, the uh, a lot of people are asking where we want to do the meetup tomorrow. There's a thread at the, the, the clubhouse at bbliveshow.info slash forums. Hit us up over there, and we will decide what the place will be tomorrow. Somebody suggested a cookout, but I want it to be a super easily accessible place where people can come and go and nobody feels like, you know, put upon like, oh, you, you, you baked a cake, you say, and then they feel like yeah. they have to stay there. So I think I'd rather keep it simple. And, you know, uh, like, like a church. So he's going to have the meetup at the St. Cool. San, San Francis Dominicano Church. No, 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 South no, no. Uh, um, I like SHT. Somebody had to. <laughs> Judge Schwood and the jury. What if it's that just happened? Um, <laughs> cake at right. the meetup. Cake in the break room. Um, can we do the show like this from now on? Yes, we can, Brian. Of course we can. <laughs> In many ways, we've always done the show like this. We are enjoying. Well, we We're, like it when we only have one head and it's only gets cut off. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Justin. How are you doing, sir? Here we go. Oh, we'll just do the show like this. <laughs> and so it'll just be my shoulder. So that way people who really dig the album art won't be surprised. Well, oh, zing. Yeah, that's the other, that's another thing that happens when we pick a new name for the show. We get new album art. Sure. And uh, we can have, like, more instances of hey, my the Kuhan, the Kuhan eats the word that we have to bleep out of the show show. <laughs> uh, 
show for what's funny is they say uh i think they meant formerly called nsfw show but yet but he wrote uh the show the formally called nsfw show which is already what we have uh yeah yeah space paranoids nice tron reference okay it look should be, uh it should be don't worry the, 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 the self-loathing will take over if it's not funny, show. <laughs> All right, look, uh, I say it's, it's uh, I, we, we got we to gotta shut this down. Oh, I like this week without Martin Sargent. <laughs> or maybe, how about this, to strike back at old Calacanis, we call it Mahalo.com presents the Jason Calacanis chat show. Oh, my God. That's a... Uh, I don't want to get in trouble with anyone. You sure, you sure let him have it, though. Oh, Jason. Oh, I don't. You know, I'm just trying to be Do you silly. hear that? Do you hear that? Justin Robert Young says, jury to Jason. I don't care. Bring uh, it. Yeah, he basically. He said, send it well, to my mom with racial send slurs. Send it to my mom, 7508. Again, the address is 7508 Southwest 26 Court, Davie, Florida, 33314. Uh, and let me give her a phone number so you guys can call to just make sure that the package gets there. That's 954-895-3584. So dial my mom up right now just to make sure she's there in case you have a really fast package. What What is the number you're giving? I don't believe for a second that it's your mom. Uh, yeah, dial it up and see if uh, see if she's there. All right, what's the number? Well, people have it in the chat room. <laughs> Don't really dial it. I don't know whose number that is. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a no-no, dude. What, giving out random people's numbers? Yeah, and telling people to call them. Like, when they're annoyed, then it's just like, don't don't dial it. Everybody don't dial it. Please don't dial it. If it's truly a random number. If that's a no, bit No, yeah, no, that's not, that's not my mom's number. Uh, but that is actually my mom's address. Okay, well, Don't. I'll tell you what, though. This is, this is your mom's number, and I do encourage everyone to call 207-786-2411. That's 207-786-2411. Um, I also really suggest that everybody call 1-866-EAT-FIRE with books okay, okay, for the okay, fall. Okay, okay, okay. For the fall okay. and spring season, dates are open. That's 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 enough, sir. Actually, Back I to do. school is coming up. Eight six six eat fire for a world class magic show. Hi everybody, I'm Justin Robert Young of NSFWshow.com. Do you want a world-class magic show for your back-to-school festivities? Do I have the show for you, Brian Brushwood? Yes, Brian Brushwood. He brings all the funny to your campus. Ha, 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 I'm laughing already. He with his friendly uh, sidekick, OMG Chad, will come to your school. Yes, your school. All you have to do is call one eight six six e fire That again is one eight six. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we real do you quick? Like- can we have the video be nothing but multiple instances of Justin's face coming all around himself as you read it in that style? Okay, here we go. Yeah, start, with the music? Single. start with a single of me. Okay. Don't ask too much. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, we're with all right, the here buttons we go. at random. We really don't know what we're doing. All right, then just give me something with just all of my face. Here we go. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jason Young of the NSFW Show. Do you want laughs? Do you want magic? Well, do I have the show for you? Yes, you. And your college for the fall and spring seasons is Brian Brushwood. Yes, Brian Brushwood. He'll come to your campus in a car or a plane. He brings his own magic tricks and he makes you laugh. Yes, laugh. Ha, 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 ha. I'm laughing already. He has his own friend named OMG Chad that helps him carry the bag so you don't have to. All you have to do is sit back. And laugh at all the jokes, the funny jokes, as well as the fire. Ooh, fire, it's hot. Hello, Brian Rushwood, one eight six six. He fire. He's answering your phone call to come to your school every day in fall or spring. Catch it. <laughs> that is freaking awesome, dude. That is awesome. 
You should play that to be your promo video. Screw all this proving that you actually do a show and you've been on television. You should just play that in, in a constant repeat at the booths. <laughs> uh, they're all calling it my new demo reel. God, I'm so glad that we got this worked out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you laughing at Kevnix? No, I'm laughing at you saying that <laughs> finally we got this all worked out. <laughs> that this should be your new demo reel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, by the way, um, for $50, I'll record that for anybody. I'm a professional voice actor. <laughs> yeah, dude, you've done it on the internet, on Twit. You've had a sponge go over you to change into your shoulder. Yeah. We should, we should call the show, uh, just stop it. Hi, are you looking for news of the weird, the paranormal, and unusual phenomenon? Well, you can find all of those at weirdthings.com. At weirdthings.com, your host, Justin Roger Young, will take you on a veritable roller coaster of strange and unusual phenomenon. Ghosts in the Amazon, they're there. Hobbits in the Eurasian Peninsula, we'll find them. That's all at weirdthings.com on the internet. <laughs> all right, one more. All right. <clears throat> Are you tired of going to the bar or restaurant or bistro and paying for your own drinks? I am. So are you. You should go on to the Internet and find a show called Scam School. Yes, yeah, Scam School, hosted by Brian Brushwood. He teaches you how to scam a free drink out of friends, relatives, girls, boys, hermaphrodites, literally anybody. Yes, literally anybody you heard me. Brian Brushwood, Scam School on the Revision 3 Network on the Internet. Plug it in with electricity and use the Internet to find it. It's Scam School. Yes, Scam School. (laughs) 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 Hello, are you a lonely shut-in who's very curious about the latest in news in all of the world of magic and prestidigitation? We've got the number one source for 24-hour news of magic on the Internet. It's called iTrix, iTrix iTrix.com. At iTrix.com, you'll be able to see all of our sponsored videos along with actual news items that will show you (laughs) what the latest is. What? (laughs) What? I I didn't make fun of your projects. You're mean with your commercials. I didn't didn't mean to be mean. I didn't mean to be mean. Um, I, I was actually, I was trying to buy time, and then I inserted a word that all of a sudden determined that I had to go in that direction. Um, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not going to pay this invoice. <laughs> that was derogatory. I'm sorry, sir. Your voiceovers are mean, and they're hurtful to my opinions. Uh, good day to you, sir. And you slam them down. Exactly. All right. I have... What else do you do? What else can I plug? What else can I do? Uh, you can plug the fire eating book at youcaneatfire.com. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's me, Jason Young. Do you, are you, all right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Jason Young. Are you mystified by fire? I am. It's all wild, wild around. It goes into the underbrush and crawls up my chimney. What will you ever do with it? I know you can eat it. What? Yes, eat it. All you need to do is buy the new book, How to Eat Fire, by Brian Brushwood. Again, How to Eat Fire, by Brian Brushwood. You can tame this wild substance and put it in your mouth, but won't it burn? No, it won't. It'll stay in your mouth, and it'll become your friend. If only you buy the new book, How to Eat Fire with Brian Brushwood, How to Eat Fire with Brian Brushwood, by Brian Brushwood. Get it. Mm-hmm. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, it's me, Ryan Rushwood from the Internet. Are you looking for a poorly regulated and rarely updated website where you can see the occasional funny link? I recommend you check out Justin Robert Young's Throw Down a Tarp. That's right, you <laughs> should check out Justin Robert Young's Throw Down a Tarp. You'll be able to see occasionally an update here or there, and it'll usually be something on another website that you may or may not find interesting. That's Justin Robert Young's Throw Down a Tarp. Bye today.
Do you ever find yourself wondering how interesting are Brian Brushwood's friends? Then do I have the site for you, twitter.com slash Schwood. All of the retweets that you probably read on the other people's websites, you can read again on Brian Brushwood's Twitter. That's twitter.com slash Schwood. Also, plugs. <coughs> how often do you like to be interrupted by annoying <laughs> sounds? Well, have I got the source for you? It's just a Robert Young and his amazing soundboard. Not only will he play random sounds at random moments that interrupt your flow in the middle of the show, but he will also bark randomly. That's right. I said bark randomly at random things he's reading in the chat room that have no bearing on the reflection of the show. When you stop to ask what he's laughing at, he will make sure to take the show in a new direction. That's just a Robert Young's random sounds available today. <laughs> um I got nothing. I got nothing here. I don't know. You can make fun of my kids. You ready to do you ready to hit that? <laughs> Are we crossing that boundary? <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden it gets like seriously nasty. It's just like, how would you like to be disrespectful to your father? Refuse to learn how to read and still pee the bed. That's right, still pee the bed. All you have to do is be one of Brian Brushwood's kids. That's not none of that's true, by the way. That's uh No, 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 no. Yes. I'm that was me being yes. an, an impression of Justin you have being the opportunity to be the person that Bonnie eventually cheats on Brian with. Yes, you. <laughs> oh my god. Really? You just went there? Oh stop wait, hold on. Making fun of your kids is okay. I was trying to dial it back. You're the one who started down the road. I dialed it you... back to adultery, sir. <laughs> Possible stalking, but still, the point is it was still fine. Oh, please. oh man. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Uh, and here I am. I. Uh, all right. So, what do we want to do on the editing for that? Do Do we want to like everybody? My name is Fapper the Dolphin. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about NSFW show. Yes, NSFW show. Are you tired of a show that takes preparation seriously? Do I have the show for you? It might sound like hardcore pornography, but it certainly is nothing of the sort. It's NSFW show, where two guys get together three hours before they actually broadcast and hurriedly ask who they should book as a guest. If that doesn't fall through, then they'll come up with an overly complicated game that everybody eventually hates and gets bored with. Yes, it's NSFW show, starring Jason Young and Ryan Rushwood. Download it today. NSFW fever. Catch it. Catch it. <laughs> We should we we should full on record like some some PSAs uh like for Twit or something some advertisements for other shows that we can uh that we can stick in there like that will actually lead people who don't know the show to to be like um aha <laughs> Carhex is still watching and he just sent me an instant message saying you better stop being funny cuz it's like 6 a.m. By the way, Drifter X says that we should call this after show Jerry sells out his mom and Brian sells out his kids. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, that's about right. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, let me just say this. Um, and this is since you guys are the people who actually... And by the way, like 400 people are still in the chat room, which means that God knows how many are actually watching live, which is mind-blowing. Um, do me a favor... Uh, we're all really, really, really excited about the new movie Predators and Predators Fever is sweeping the nation. But uh, if you take a picture of yourself in front of a Predator stand or picture, can't be on the internet. You got to be physically in front of a poster and take a picture of you giving yourself a thumbs up and tweet out uh, Predators Fever, lol, catch lol it, and that reply style. It's got to be lolcat style. It's got to be like no, the no, meme no, 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 no. That's not to be over. No, just tweet a picture. Just take, like, you're just out, you see a Predators poster. Or like a billboard, you just go over to it and take a picture of yourself by like giving the thumbs up, right? And then just at reply me, I'm going to follow you on Twitter and I'm going to retweet it. Every single one that comes in. Uh, by the Everybody. way, Patrick De La Hanty just said, I will totally do that on my way to see Inception, which is the right attitude. Make sure you do it when you're at the theater to see Inception. Fake your Predator's Fever. Catch it. Predator's Fever. Catch it. Predator's Fever. Hi, everybody. 
Are you tired of action movies with actual action stars and instead with like character actors who never really fulfilled their promise? Do I have the movie for you? Yes, you. It's Predators. Who needs actual muscle-bound people when you can have people who have played nothing but dweebs and dorks their entire lives pretending to be murderous killers on an alien planet killing a brutal monster? Predators, <laughs> fever, catch it. <laughs> hey, people. Do you love Predators, but you don't want to support somebody who might win a game played on the Internet because he bought the Predators game? Well, then I've got the movie for you. Yes, you. It's called Inception, and it's about a bunch of horse donkeys that go on the <laughs> Internet. <laughs> you know, I, I almost... <clears throat> I'm proud that I didn't say the words that were coming to my mind, but I'm not proud that I didn't come up with better words. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually the motto of my life. <laughs> uh, by the way, the, the the total right now, I'm going to enjoy my brief moment in the sun while I still can. $322 million. Timmy won. Huh? Timmy won. I mean, he just won. I'm sorry. He did. Uh, Timmy's going to take number one in the next two weeks, but then I've got four movies to try to chip away at that. Okay. And what are they? Fart, uh, they are fart Inception. Noise, fart and wet fart. Fart 2 In- electric boogaloo. That's what you it's have. Inception, Salt, Night and Day, and the, the, other, the other ones. The other guys? Is that what it is? Some other one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Timmy and Ryan want to come back on, by the way. So I figure they, soon. They, yeah, right, as, soon well, as, as soon as Twilight. So that'll be, we'll pretty much have an idea on who hey, we Can want. I just say real quick, like... Uh, I've been pretty good about calling you a couple days before the show, asking to do prep. And, like, uh, you sort of wanted to roll the dice. Not meta- metaphorically, but uh, more, more li- liter- literally. And just say, like, hey, man, let's, you know, you, why, we got a good thing going. Every time we don't overthink it, we just go in and everything's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, this, this was a... Uh, number one, I, I don't. I won't deny that I've actually said that and been like, "Why did we want to jinx it?" Because uh, partially, it's. Uh, I think. Well, I mean, there, there's a real practical, and this is where the show stops getting interesting and starts getting really boring. Because I'm actually trying to answer. Okay, well, your yeah, okay, here's the deal: we can have this conversation, only we just have to have it in a certain way of talking. Yes, talking. As long as we talk, oh, there we go. Seem to be having a good time with. We could say really deeply disturbing, that's right, disturbing things, revealing about our innermost psyche. For example, I am afraid of clowns. What do you say? Well, Brian, I'm not going to deny, no me, I'm not going to deny that every once in a while when you called me 48 hours before the show, which is normally when we used to do prep, I'd say, Brian, yes, Brian. Please don't call me anymore because we need to do prep only 24 hours before the show because we've had two or three shows in a row that have gone really well. And that had gone really well until this show. Yes, this show. When we did prep like 24 hours before, but no ideas were really coming to us and we weren't really in love with the idea that we chose. In fact, we went with an idea for about three hours to try and come up with a bit and we couldn't do it because the stupid program wouldn't work and it wasn't really funny. And then we wound up adding Tomas Marie. Which, uh, not uh, that he's not funny because he's very funny, but the bit couldn't handle it. Yes, the bit couldn't handle it because <laughs> it's dependent on two people doing it. And when three people doing it, it just gets really confusing. And then he didn't have any of the prep and he had no idea of what we were doing. And uh, we had to do accents, but the accents were really weird. And we also, for some reason... <laughs> didn't foresee the fact that if we just read things that were obviously from somebody's point of view, that we couldn't hide the fact that they were the ones reading it. And then uh, mystifyingly, when I said, hey, we should not pretend like these are anonymous, Tom said, no, that brings mystery. And we're like, yes, of course, mystery. That's what we need. Um, And, (laughs) you know, long story short, there's... we probably put in about as much time on this podcast on this podcast as we had some of the other ones that were really, really good. And that's not to say that we shouldn't have put in more time to so the ones that were really, really good. But yeah, every once in a while, you're going to have a crap show. And I think this was maybe not the best show we've ever done, but I certainly don't think it was the worst. And if anything, it was an entertaining enough cluster F that people won't stop listening. They'll just wait for the next show. Well, here's the yes, question we need to <laughs> Um, are you somebody who sat through the last two and a half hours watching two people try to put together a podcast? Well, have I got a solution for you? Yes, you. 
you need to decide whether or not you would rather have the original show released as an episode of its own or replace it with some bizarre talk in the after show and leave people wondering. That's right. Wondering what mysteries occurred when they weren't looking and didn't see the original show live. I'm really confused. Are you suggesting that we just don't release the actual show and just release the after show? Because I don't know if that'll really be, if that'll really make sense for people who haven't seen the beginning part. I was not, I was not actually uh, suggesting that we don't actually release the episode, but I was suggesting that, um, <clears throat> that it's an uh, interesting thought experiment to imagine that only the, uh, the after show was released. <laughs> oh, Colleen, you're killing me. Uh, the, why is uh, Colleen? I want to get. Why isn't Colleen sending me stuff? Where's she sending you stuff, Colleen? Well, in the chat room. Here, you want to see what uh, you want to see what she sent me? I do. Um, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Jotman, we don't ignore you. I love you, Jotman. Jo- Jotman asked like twenty times if he was annoying us. No. Uh, okay. Uh, well, interesting. Somebody actually suggested we should put the whole show, whole show in unfiltered. There's no way you can't look, look, the reason you guys are enjoying this now <clears throat> is because it's live and it's honest and it's electric. And it's not like that. When you listen to it recorded, you hold it recorded programs up to a different standard than you do actual live stuff because there's some filtering. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to speak. Well, thank God that mustache is here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to speak in a censored tone. So really only Brian's going to be the person who knows what I'm talking about, but okay, we're, go on. uh, but we're, we're working on blank and with blank, we've really realized that there is a very, very stark difference between doing the live experience and doing the recorded experience. And oh, actually, no, I can talk about this cause it, it was out there. Uh, yeah, no, with, with the weird things live thing. That like, yes. It's almost like, from what we do now, it's basically a live show. Like they're 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 it's like a recorded version of the live show, and that's why our numbers really aren't high download wise for this because we're not doing it for download people. And and we've tried the retrofit the show, but it's like we don't really know what we can do. What's not just sacrificing the DNA of why people like the show at all. Like it. It was it was enough to do a show that was semi audio friendly and not just totally a video live show, which has a reasonably small kind of demo. Um, but like, there needs to be some kind of watch afterward, uh, you know, sheen to it because otherwise nobody will listen to us and we won't be able to do it. Well, we will be able to do it, just not have the kind of you know freedom to make it somewhat of a job because it pays somewhat of money. Right. Would that be safe to right. say? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. I, th- I think that's right. Um, uh, to be honest, it's like, it, it kills me uh, whenever we're riddled with self doubt after an episode, it makes me want to go back and watch it and manually edit out stuff that goes faster. Uh, I think it was a really good premise and I think we clearly had a lot of fun doing it. I just worry that it was over the top for the casual. Well, view. you, you want- I mean, here's, here's like, in looking back on it, it's just, I, I feel bad. Uh, you know, the thing is, like, it's not even like I really feel all that bad about it because it's not like we didn't put in a solid couple hours. And, like, we talked last night for, like, three hours to come up with something. And then we just didn't. And then we well, tried. We, we up- did. It just didn't take. We, had, we wanted to mess with the Cleverbot. We were going to have Cleverbot as a guest. And wow, did that not work because. Uh, Cleverbot is a turd of a program. It's a turd of a website. You'd be better off creating Clever Bart, where all you did was type in a question and it just gave you a random Bart Simpson quote, because that would be entertaining in a way that Cleverbot was not. Eat my shorts. See, there you go. That's just <laughs> it. That's just it. Uh, the this episode was no Philip. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was our our what's it called show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost episode. <clears throat> uh, TL and and yeah, we all know Travis that you prefer the after show, uh, you know, to the regular show because you remind us every time that the show ends 
and we say anything in the after show. And I, I get that. And a lot of that is because there's a lot of just the easy kind of back and forth, which I think is something that we probably should, we should set out to set out more time for uh, in the show or to give us in bits times to just kind of reset and take ourselves down from the level 10, you know, uh, which is, I think, what we are at, you know, for the entire episode today, which is a problem. Um, hey, look at that. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> also, great. Also, this just in, NASDAQ is up 36.08. <laughs> Go on, you were saying, Justin? <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I think there's definitely an element that we can work in so the show has some of the elements that people really, really, really like of the after show. But at the same time, like, the after show, I feel like people really, really like because we're all just hanging out. It's like, yeah. that would be like, it'd be like going to a concert and hanging out backstage with the band and being like, you guys should just do this. This is Dude, awesome. you nailed it. That's exactly what it is. It's like, no, no, no. The only reason you want to do this is because there was a show we just finished, and now you're getting the inside sauce. That is our gift to you. Everybody who tunes in, uh, <laughs> what, what the heck? Uh, everybody who tunes in live gets the inside sauce, and we answer all your questions, and we interact with you guys live. That's special, and that's why you guys like it more than the actual show itself, because you know the show is for all of them, and all of this is just for you. Uh, Carhack says he thought it was a decent episode, fast-paced. Uh, it was just lacking in prep and game concept, which, um... Well, I you want to know the funny thing? Is that, like, prep-wise, we had everything down. Like, yeah. we actually, like, like it was prepped correctly. It was just, it was, it was a bit that we didn't have enough outs on to have it go a different way. And once we had Tom there, there's only, like, when, when Tom comes in and Tom doesn't know what's going on, because normally Tom yes. is, like, like, we throw Tom in, like, uh, I mean, with street violence almost every day. We're, like, busting cats and random old hobos. Um, but, uh, like, normally, and this is, like, really, like, breaking the fourth wall, Tom is so awesome with this show that we'll call Tom, like, a day before when we first have the idea and be like, Tom, what about this idea? And, like, he'll bring stuff to the table. Like, he, yeah. of, of, like, like the GTA tracker, episode. The, the GTFO episode, we had the idea of, like, I was like, hey, can you just get some envelopes? And he was the one who was just like, oh, you know, it'd be funny is if they started off looking professional and then they got more and more shabby over time. And eventually it's clearly my Verizon bill that I'm opening for the GTFO awards. Yeah. So it's like, aside from Amtrekker, he's the only guest that will be a part of the creative uh, just as much as any other part of the show. So it's just, uh, you know, with, with this one, we didn't know Tom was going to be a part of it until like, I didn't know if Tom was going to be a part of it until literally like he was calling in. Uh, to be on the show. So, like, once we are in the thick of it, especially in a episode where we're playing characters and stuff, there's only so much that, like, where me and Brian's telekinesis can go when, we have, when we're when we bringing somebody else along. So if it was just me and Brian, we could say, hey, uh, let's just ditch the uh, pretending they're anonymous. And it'd be like, okay. But with right. Tom, it's like, you know, we don't want to stop the show and be like, uh, hey, guys, do we just want to drop the name thing? Because uh, right. it's pretty obvious. Like, oh, okay. We got we to gotta keep it as part of the show, but we can't if Tom's there because Tom doesn't have the telekinesis. And this really doesn't make any sense to everybody, but it makes sense to me, and Brian. Uh, and uh, I know uh, that Gallifrey because Rebel. we have telekinesis. Yes, with our totally resolved mysteries. Uh, Gallifrey Rebel in the chat room says, Scam School Brian, this is my first time watching the show. I've had so much fun that I will be subscribing to the iTunes feed Normally, this is on too late for me, but I'm off tomorrow, so I am hanging out. So that's good. I think it's great. Uh, ben G9C9 says, I like where you post a YouTube video with instructions 24 hours in advance. You know, here's, here's the, 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 real, the real life, you know, reason why sometimes we don't do a lot of prep is because me and Brian work on a lot of things, <laughs> and a lot of times uh, it's between the times that we're actually working on stuff and the times that we're not working on stuff and we don't want to be working on anything because we're constantly working on stuff, it's hard to, you know, do like a four-day prep kind of window. Because, and, 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 and Brian, I agree, I, I I agree I by the way. I, I, love, I love doing the show prep in advance. That's my preference is when I'm in the studio, because you guys know when I'm in studio, there's, there's a rhythm to everything. Um, this is 
in some ways, I, I got to grade the, the entire last month on a curve because if you asked me when we first started on the Twit Network, would the shows be any good with somebody else switching, with us being remote, with us not having all the, the, the overproduced elements that we love to do like we did in the episode with the Trials of King Leo, whether or not it was doable, it's, it was, I was like, I don't think it is. We need all of our, you know, our gimmicks because I'm a showman or whatever. But uh, considering the fact that it in the last six months or six weeks, I believe, I think only once I've been in studio. The rest of the time I've been remote and on the road. They have been, I think, for the most part, really good episodes. Which oh, means- I think we've had some of our best shows. I mean, that's right. the reason, you know, part, part of me was serious in the whole, like, let's just not. There, there's got to be something to not overthinking the ideas. And right. I think what we fell into is it just got later and later and later with the day today. And we kind of oh, fell you know in line. There, there is a valid comment in the chat room, and we broke one of our role, own rules accidentally. Snowshoe says, uh, what if you do the show with more of the chat room in focus where we call ins and games the chat room can play and participate in? Uh, that's one of our, like, we, we made, like, a, a short list yeah. of things that will always happen. We will always, ha- always have a bit, and it will always be interactive. And originally, the plan was is to have the chat room decide on the winners, but last minute in the flow of everything, we realized that it would, you know, to do that, you know, one, two, three, you know, at seven times and stop and try to get a read from the chat room would slow down the show too much. And we cut that. And it's something, uh, I don't know, maybe I regret because it seems like. Yeah, as- I mean, again, yeah. this this was this episode was a problem conceptually from the very, very beginning. You know, it, it's like. Oh, it was it, a great idea from the beginning, dude. This is a great idea that uh, that the only we got too smart for our britches when we decided that we knew the game so well that we decided to play a game amongst ourselves by making unworkable, challenging voices to give to each other. That was the part where we all short-circuited and refused yeah. to get started. Well, and then also it's like, I don't even think that the voices were necessarily a problem. I think it was, I mean, partly when the voices are like opera singer, so I don't know if people can even hear me. <laughs> not understand um, any of the opera singer stuff yeah so it's like um i thought the whiteboards there is a lot i really really liked about this episode like conceptually i think it's just it's just one of the things where it didn't click and, and really it's that's the thing it's like it's not like there have been episodes and i'm sure if i actually look at an episode list i can tell you which ones i thought were fucking oh i'm sorry <laughs> oh my what, god wow did you forget your place sir i did uh, the, the, I thought, I thought, can we dump out or are we dumping or are we going to dump on that? Do we have dump time? Um, we the, are live. No we're yeah. Live. Okay. So just, just hit, hit, just hit the dump button. Totally cool. Anyway. Um, <laughs> there's no dump button. Take it. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, there have been episodes where I have literally called Brian and been like, well, that was terrible. And we are, we're awful at this. But tonight, tonight, I would like to think that this is not what we would say about no, tonight. No, 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 no. It's, it's just one of those things where it's like, like, we've talked about the fact that like the last like four episodes in a row, and I can actually just look at the episodes, but like, I thought that we were like on a best episode, best episode, best episode, great episode kind of streak. Right. It was like, it was like home run, home run, triple You know what this run. is? This was the equivalent of us standing at the craps table. And you just, you're like, you're like, you know, uh, you're just throwing it and I'm like, hey, hey, shouldn't we bank our winnings? And you're like, Brian, Brian, you not see every time we throw these, they come up awesome. So let's just do what we're doing and just no, no working. What? Yeah. We're both reading the chat room, aren't we? No, I'm actually trying to get to our listing and I actually went to live and so I was listening to you tell me about this. Uh, all right. I don't know why. But here, you guys oh. want to know what shows I hated? <laughs> uh, oh, do you really want to do? Wow. Talk about, is there a fifth wall to break where, where the host actually <laughs> turns and talks about the shows that he disliked on his own? What is this? Well, I don't know. Actually, look totally at Totally resolved really... mysteries, dude. Come on. There we go. No, you want to know what? I really like almost everything we've done. <laughs> all right what do we got back to the episode one uh we, all right we're going back to episode so, one so not listed in any kind of order oh they are uh, okay so name, name that, that name that autocomplete i loved secrets of bs i loved we gotta have veronica back on by the way 
Yeah, dude. And here's the tidbit. Let's ask her more than two hours before we go live on the show. Or someone like if Monica? we ask her two hours before we go live on the show, how about if when she says no, we go, how about next week or the week after? <laughs> well, okay. So good. So you're saying lock her in farther than like, you know, the day of the show. Nutty idea, yes. right? Okay. Uh, world record obviously was amazing. Hotel Rwanda for dogs was uh, notorious think, but, and what, awesome. What it, what, yeah, yeah. What it, what it, what it lacked in flow, it made up for in spades in terms of the home run aspect. Uh, GTFO Awards was our first date with Tomas, which was awesome. It was uh, very awesome. NSFWTF was not my favorite show, but was necessary in realizing what the show was. Well, that was um, the one when we realized, oh, wait, we need a bit and some kind of uh, orchestrated drama to, yeah. to take people. We, we are not good at straight up interview shows. That was the one we realized. Yeah, yeah. And also, that was at the height of like everybody that really just not liking the fact that we weren't, you know, calling the show BB live show. Oh uh, yeah. That was the middle of the chat room, baby backlash. Yeah. Yeah. So here, I'll tell you what you want to know. The first one that I really, I still don't like episode nine. Never have I ever. That was, that was not a good one. And that you was gotta totally be kidding on. me. I thought that one was great. Were we were talking really? drinking stories with Patrick Norton. Maybe I don't remember it as much, but I, I I get a sour face looking at it. Dude, that's where I got... Oh, you know what? You got a sour face because there was retreading where I was telling stories that I that you knew before. Like, there are people who tell me they were they loved it because they heard, like, the me almost getting arrested story and that kind of stuff. But for you... It, and plus, we had played it before, right? It was the um, most of a retread of a BB Live show idea that we ever did. Oh, yeah, Molly, yeah, no, 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 I, I just think it was, because I remember we were, you know, Molly Wood was there for two seconds, and then Patrick Norton came in in the middle of it, I just felt like it was, it was the thing where, like, where... We had technical uh, issues because Molly Wood was booked, and then she had technical issues, couldn't make it, and Patrick Norton jumped in. By the way, somebody in the chat room correctly pointing out the chat, uh, that uh, Patrick Norton doesn't drink anymore, uh, and, uh, but he, that doesn't mean he doesn't have stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it was just one of those things where uh, it it didn't have the flow or, or it didn't have the moments. You know, like that was that was what like and it, like the best shows have one of those two, like either an insane flow to it or insane moments. And I thought that was the only one in, in all that I'm reading back right now that I thought didn't have didn't have either. I disagree. Uh, I thought that one was pretty good. Yeah, Blitz. Or maybe I'm not. Blitz like Quiz, of course, legendary. Six Word Fail Wars, I think, wasn't the best, but was pretty good. I remember liking that a lot. Um, Live and Dimes of Chat Roulette, obviously, one that uh, we probably wish we, we had back, especially considering the guest, who was good, but we had no idea how to handle. Um, well, we, here's our problem, is we figured out that we can't afford to be starstruck, and we can't afford to respect anyone who comes on the show. Like we well, that, the was, that was another one where we had literally zero prep time because well, you were yes. at you yes. were at the uh, the thing there. Yeah, yeah, no, that was another. Uh, but uh, I tell you, the life and times of chat roulette is what allowed a few episodes later. Uh, which one? Where's the Where's the one that had Greg Grunberg on it? Oh, we already passed that. Oh, did you ever know my hair? Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm totally yeah. wrong. Um, no, that was awesome. Winner, but we had like win- we had we had the winner games after that, which was awesome. Um, yeah. And then ask the internet, which I thought I thought we could do that one again. I loved ask the internet. Oh, dude, we should we should do that again now. Yeah, absolutely. And then Twitter celebrity internet fight celebrity. Club, that was hilarious. Yeah, the Twitter, was obviously Twitter fight club classic. was awesome. Meat drunk. Stop, stop, stop. Awesome. Um, Where's Harry Potter? I think conceptually was maybe our strongest idea. Yeah, the but fantasy league. Listen, listening to the episode though, it's tedious and it's process oriented, and it took a very long time. We yeah, we need an auctioneer to uh, to make me into mosaics. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I, that might be my, my never have I ever, we might flip sides on that one, because I remember that. Oh, really? 
You actually mm-hmm. like that one. That's that's why I would vastly prefer Never Have I Ever because it was us being honest and telling stories about our past. Whereas, uh, you know, the the uh, Where's Harry Potter was just us betting on movies and arguing. And even then, a lot of it was kind of sideways. And, and it, I didn't like it because I was put in the position of like, all right, gentlemen, let's keep moving on. We got 20 more of these to go. Like that, that was less fun for me. Yeah, yeah. I remember really, really, really liking it. Um, but, you know. Yeah, Car that's has why just that's why an indiscreet message saying that Where's Harry Potter was very slow. And I would, under, I would empathize with anyone who thought that. But, but yeah. for those who are playing the game and listening along and playing the game, you get big dividends out of that episode because you get to play the game all summer long. And it's like, I am stupidly interested in this complete horse apples game that we've made up. Yeah. South by South was guaranteed, guaranteed. That was the Universe X alternate universe stuff, right? Yes. Yes. That was, I thought that was a really smart idea. It was funny. Um, weirdthings.com. That could have been, that could have been put together better. Uh, but Dude, I love that's- the graphics there. I thought that those Hitler's were dice. Come on, man. Yeah. You just lost. Yeah. I'm upset that his, Hitler's dice never won. That was a bummer. <laughs> um, Pantsing Arnold, I thought was one that we really pulled out of our butt. That was pretty funny. There are New show fails awesome weekly. On that. That, was, that was a concept I was extremely skeptical of going in. I was just like, what? We're going to, it's a census somehow, and we're choosing what exists on the internet. What? Uh, but it really came out in the end. I was very happy with that. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's one of those, like, you know, that was that was a twit weekend for you and everything. So that was one of those where, like, literally, I saw the Saturday Night Live cold open and was like, all right, let's rip this off and gut it and make it the bit for tomorrow. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Because we had a short week. Because we had to do it on Sunday. Oh, that's Talic right. One Nights was really, really funny. Oh, Dr. Dude, that was, was, that was the first episode that gave me faith. That was, you know what? Taliquin Nights was the beginning of our, hey, you know what works? Of, no of, of the streak. This was the beginning of the streak that associated no preparation with win. Because this is the one I was driving through Oklahoma and tweeted out, hello, I will be uh, in this city at 8 o'clock. Who within 30 minutes of here has fast internet and would like to let me host NSFW? Swooped in. Did the show is one of our best episodes ever. The am I the am I racist episode was what it was all about. And then the next one was But Cuba, which also I'm off in New York running around doing a bunch of meetings, and it's like, hey, I guess we kind of got this idea. Let's throw this together. Hop on, knocked it out of the park. Tom Merritt was awesome on that. Lulls another old lulls and order troll court. I was home for, but even that was like we didn't take a lot of time with preparation. We booked Roger Chang. The day of the show, right? Oh hell yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, no, that was, but that was something that we did get audience, uh, a lot of stuff from the yeah. audience. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, the trials of King Leo. That was the only one that we were there enough time where where that was like we were like, hey man. I'll tell you what, back- that wasn't any more than twenty four hours prep though. There was a lot of prep to it, but we. Oh my god, you're right because we started the video sh- stuff uh, at three o'clock that same day, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's and that's that's what I was like when when the whole like twenty four hour thing. It's just like it was partly under the basis that like once we like laser focus on something, we can do all the prep we need. We don't need yeah. to spread it out for four days. Like if, if we have the idea. We have the idea. Um, you know, what we need then, to get better at is the ideas that we have when we're talking to each other, like not during a prep time. We need to be banking those and being like, oh, you know, what we should go back to that idea that we had once and then never did anything with. Like, yeah. that's what we that's what we should do. But, yeah, well, I thought Charles King Leo, like there was not a lot of prep time on that. It was just we did a lot. Our last uh, our last boner was episode 22 while we were on the road but then like since Tahlequah Nights well, under Tahlequah press, Nights was 22 yeah since Tahlequah Nights I'm talking about our first take on it but Tahlequah Nights, Butt Cuba, Lulz in Order Trials of King Leo, We're All Going to Hell Melissa's Will Be Done and Stuff, Dragon Face Face of a Dragon that was seven shows in a row where I was on the road for all of those except for Trials of King Leo 
No, I guess it lulls in order, but we didn't, you know, we booked him a couple hours beforehand. I mean, it's yeah. like, uh, we've had random, unfortunate reinforcement that tells us that the less we prepare, the better we do. And that's a bit of a, bit of a well, gamble. you know, I think again, it's, it's like the, the problem with, Saving or cutting it so close isn't necessarily that we can't do the prep we need. The problem is we can't come up with an idea that we really like. And really, when you look at it, you know, how good of an episode was We're All Going to Hell? No, I guess that was a really good episode before the Melissa thing just took yeah. it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, Mass Worm was really good, and he, he brought some stuff to the table. We had the sinkhole and uh, uh, the pimp renaissance paintings and all that stuff. But that was just like, and I don't know where it comes on the album, but it was like, like you listen to an entire album, and you're like, wow, this is really good, and then Stairway to Heaven comes on. Like, that was, like, the, the Melissa thing really is so much the DNA of... NSFW BB Live. I'm not whatever we call it. The Melissa episode. Somebody in the chat room just echoed my my feelings as well. The Melissa's will be done and stuff was not our most interesting episode, and it didn't have that giddy, you know, that giddy electric uh, electricity that we try to capture. But it was the proudest he'd ever been of the show, and I couldn't agree more. That's the biggest, the biggest thing. Well, yeah, and that's what I think. And and to me, you know, it was, it was the the raging yin and sobering yang that makes up why this show is good is that like we have one episode where we deal with all of the horrificness of the internet in its ugly, ugly, you know, uh, ugly form, and then we have the other side where it's like, oh wait, we you know we feel bad about doing it, so let's let's now instead of like our apology will be to give you. The, uh, the the keys to the, the the toy that we enjoy playing with so much. Now go and you know whether you like it or not, make your opinion take over the internet. Right, right. Um, well, I'm really curious, and and unfortunately, I, I, I real quick to the chat room. We can't emphasize enough uh, how much Justin and I really want every show to be mind blowing, and how much it kills us when people crap on the on the show and and mainly because we are so of low self-esteem that we believe every negative word we we ever read so yeah well i i just slight alteration it it confirms what i already know in my heart Yeah, whether or not we want to believe it or not we're just we're just like that's what i was afraid dad would say right and so yeah basically uh, and and so uh with with that in mind what you're seeing right now is without exaggeration 90% 90% of the phone calls we have after all of our programs, this, this, this self-doubt or, you know, sometimes we high-five each other, but most of the time I'm just like, ah, you know, I should have done this, should have done that or whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. Um, yes. We could go home. Hey, all right. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And and some real self-doubt on the pitch for Justin and Brian. A bit gone wrong. This is ridiculous. Am I the only one? Am I Eat my meat and leave. I didn't know I couldn't do that. All right, that let just me guys. Happen. All, right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, my name is Zay, everybody. Do you like a pattering after show that's really only meant to solve the uh, open psychic wounds of Justin Robert Young and Brian Brushwood? You're also meant to step up with you. Congratulations. We've just concluded. Hey, you know what I like to consider this, Brian? 
It's what? like, hey guys, you're really funny on the after show. And we're like, really? How about we talk about our self doubt for 45 minutes? How do you like that? <laughs> Ah! Um, We're going to air out every uh, everything that's wrong with us. Open Psychic Wounds with Brian and Justin will debut on... Uh, I, on, I do want to say one thing. I do want to say thing. Sure anyone who is still online, online, anyone who is still online watching the show clearly uh, doesn't hate us. If you don't hate us, uh, look, we got to get our numbers up. Uh, tell, tell your friends about it. Uh, you can... Uh, don't, don't let them watch this episode. Watch, you know, the good ones. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. But like the point is, well, like Tech News Today with Tom Barrett. But the uh, the important thing is that uh, let's get the word out on this stuff and let's build up our inside memes and let's cause more shenanigans because I love all you guys on a deeply sexual level. Someone said share your nipples. Oh, so here we go. There we go. You got bigger nipples than me. I got I got some fat sausage nips. I have uh, five chest hairs. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got like three, or, three around this side, three, around, and I have one in the middle. Uh, yeah, one. considering the the Wolfman beard that I grow, I really don't have a whole lot of chest hair. All right, uh, Jammer Wang, you're the best uh, tandem in the world, and one day your fighting style will defeat all others. Brian, I love you. The chat room, Jam, um, Jam Wang, please. <laughs> Tony had you, to leave. Tony took off about twenty minutes ago. Oh, okay. dude, I, well, I don't man. blame him. Along with half of our fan base, I'm glad. I'm glad he quit on us. Like, I, I don't know if he's from... It was a great up. time. We really had a blast. Dude, I had a great time. I love all of you guys. All right, bye. Yeah, jam that wang, everybody. Jam that wang. Remember, youtube.com slash weird things TV. Uh, I, 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 sorry. Schwood. And cut. And cut. And don't... And shoot.